What's going on? Hope everyone's doing great. It's Rob Fuzz here. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. I go live at all different times. So if you want to see me live in full action, subscribe. Hit that notification button. There, the live stream's going live. Sorry about that. One day I'll get that right. <laughs> I just I can't hit mute until it goes live. So hope everyone's good. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, definitely check out my partner channels they're listed below noah what's going on buddy how's it going buddy hope you're doing good happy mario day noah my man my super mod uh don't forget thank you for hitting that like button Noah. i saw that um hit the subscribe button check out my partner channels and my support channels and my power channels check them out disney life for me happy mario day what's going on hope everyone's good i, I don't know if you know exactly what mario day is for my eight-year-old son, it's a big holiday. It's a celebration of Mario. You know, Mario, Luigi, Nintendo, Mario. It is March 10th, M-A-R-10-0. Spells out Mario. So it's a little, it's kind of like May the 4th be with you, but it's a Mario celebration. So what better, lucky minute, what's going on? Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for coming in, checking out. Lisa, how's it going? Happy Mario Day, Lisa. Happy Mario Day, lucky minute. But yeah, March 10th, M-A-R-1-0, Mario. It's just, it's a tricky little thing. Seriously, I think all it is is just, it's $20 off a bunch of Mario games. I think, <laughs> I really think that's all it is. But um, I don't know if you guys saw on my channel, I'm going to link it here and I'm going to link it down below. Last year, right around this time, I went, one of, I was just starting out on my vlogs. I went to Yesterkades in Red Bank. It is an amazing retro arcade. And I kind of figured, I did, I did Yesterkades already. So, what can I do? Um, what can I do a little bit different this year? You know, I still wanted to vlog. It's one of my favorite places. I've been there about five times now. It's pretty awesome. I definitely I went over to the Soul Kitchen, John Bon Jovi's restaurant, the Soul Kitchen. I bought myself a little mug here. So um, yeah, they. So it was very nice. I am. Uh, thank you so much, Lou, for having me today at the Soul Kitchen. Very nice. I love the new mug. And then we went over to Yesterkades. It was really cool. So. Um, <laughs> Here's Noah's uh, quote. I love this, Noah. This is I wish so too. Look at this. Noah says, "Let me make you a little bigger, there, buddy." Whoop. I wish Nintendo World would open at Universal Studios on March 10th, 2020. That would be so cool. I agree, you Noah. It looks pretty awesome. It's coming along really uh, a lot in uh, Universal Studios Japan. My buddy Scott Yukin was there the other day, and he showed he showed um, what the construction was. So uh, you can't really see much, but anyway. Happy Mario Day. Um, I was in Yesterkades in Red Bank. I vlogged it last year. Check out the link below if you want to see that. But I just did. I did a little something different. I didn't do a live stream there. It's kind of loud. I had my kids. It was a birthday party. R-D-O-D-A. What's going on? I miss you. Hope you're doing good. Salute and clicks. Hi, O-D-A. I miss you. I know you're probably... Life is crazy. Good seeing you. Definitely check out O-D-A. Check out Noah. Check out Disney Life for me. Check out the Lucky Man. All good channels. Anyone else who comes here. Thank you guys so much for coming. So what better way to celebrate Mario Day than, than playing some Mario games, some retro arcade games, some, you know, it was a lot of fun. So last year I did a little six minute clip. This year I went a little bit more in depth uh, video recording, uh, all the different games, all the different cool stuff they have there. I love this place. I think it's just a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to talk along like usual. Doing a little live stream live from Yesterkades. Today, I was there, Mario Day. Uh, I'm going to play it. If you're watching the replay, thank you so much for coming and watching the replay. And um, hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel and the notification bell. Definitely check me out on Twitter, uh, Instagram, YouTube, of course, and Facebook. I'm on there, Rob Fuzz and RobFuzz.com. All the links are there. Uh, let's go. Let's go to Yesterkades. And it just t today, a couple hours ago, let's roll the tape, if they say. I was there about 3.30 today uh, for a little bit for a birthday party. And uh, here we go. Let's watch it. Let's put it on. Okay. Let me know how the audio sounds and stuff, guys. Here it is. There's the outside. Hey, you know, you were What's up, everyone? What's going on? It is March 10th. That is Mario Day, M A R 10 1 0. Mario spelled out. It is officially Mario Day. What better day? What better way to celebrate Mario than being at Yesterkids in Red Bank, New Jersey? I did a vlog last year. A thousand views. Thank you so much for watching it. I'm back again. 
to celebrate this guy, Mario. Mario Day, March 10th, M-A-R-1-0, Mario. Let's go check out the arcade. As you guys know, probably one of my all-time favorite games is Donkey Kong. Uh, my dream was always to own one of these Donkey Kongs or one of those sit-down Donkey Kongs. But here it is, Donkey Kong. There's Mario. Happy Mario Day. What a celebration. You know, go back old school. Here's Donkey Kong Jr. I got. I got these guys twice or three times on here, so I wanted to show you there. Another great game. I love Mario. I love uh, Donkey Kong Jr. Nintendo definitely old school for me to uh, for a lot of people. Uh, no, that's funny. Look at this; they have an old retro TV here too. Look at that; the t cool TVs. And they, a lot of these games you can't really play on anything. A lava lamps. They have like a little museum there too. Check this out. I, I got the museum. I got it last year. I got it a little bit more this year. So I, I just love this museum alone too. Check it out. So look at the old phone, the, the ring toss game. Look at the, the, the thing. That's how you used to take tests. You do those little things. The old school phone, Ninja Turtles. Look at the old cable box. I had that cable box. I had the exact Gerald cable box, a little cassette tape. I don't even see half this stuff. The Atari, uh, what was it, 2600, Pac-Man, Frogger. Yeah, it is life for me. It's awesome. Look at this little museum they have. This is where the front desk where you check in. Look at all this cool. I, I had that in television. It's awesome. What's up, Stacy? Welcome to the stream. Look at all this cool, this stuff, this museum and everything. That's another cool game right there. They have a Flex, uh, Hulk Hogan there, Nintendo a controller there. Watch, Okadata modem, that's how you got on the internet. There's a um, Nintendo um, 64. I filmed all this today. So there's uh, there's Nintendo games, there's old Atari 2600 games, the controller, Atari 2600 in the background, floppy disk, blockbuster card. Look at this, Polaroid, Commodore 64 in the back. I didn't even see that I filmed that. Another ring toss. So cool. Look at this, Teddy Ruxpin. Look at the old TV. Look at this place. Mar There's Mario, Mario Day. That's part of the Teddy Ruxpin guy, too. I, I don't know what that is, too. It's another controller there. What's up, Timothy Rainwaters? Look at these things here. Look, a pol another Polaroid. There's Teddy Ruxpin. He is awesome. He was cool. He was an animated doll. Flash Cube. Look at this museum, the Nerf stuff. So awesome, so cool. Can you guys hear me all right? So there's Stone Temple Pilots cassette, Nirvana. I got these last year too. There's some other CDs. You see even CDs are outdated now. I don't know what game system is. If you guys know, put the comment. What is that, that card system there? There's a, the original PlayStation was awesome, the 8-Ball. Look at the, the Troll, Answering Machine, Thundercats. Yeah, that's right. If you guys know some of this stuff, list it out. Sonic. There's a Sega system. Look at that Sega system. I never had that. What's up, Timothy, my man? Look at this. Virtual Game Boy. There's E.T. in the background, a statue. There's the, the Nintendo glove. There's a Nintendo system. Yeah, it's cool, right, Lisa? Dude, I had that ColecoVision football. I had all so much of stuff. I have Mario. I still have that Super Nintendo there. There's the gun. There's a flip phone. What is that? A Sega system? I don't know which one that is. This is this last year they had a cool um, Pac-Man game, and this is called uh, Re Rave or something. I don't know. It's, it's a weird game. You kind of got to hit the Sega Genesis. Is my favorite early on. Yeah, what a great system. Yeah, you got to kind of tap your finger to the beat. And I didn't really get the concept of this. I was actually watching these people play. I don't know who these people are, but um, but yeah, it's kind of cool. Look at that. Tapping and everything. Sega. Yeah, Sega's awesome. I know what you meant there. But yeah, these guys were great at this game. I didn't really see many people play it. I guess there's an app you can continue playing. Timothy has an old Atari system. I guess uh, his wife. There's Centipede. You know, I went around and I filmed all these games. I really, you can see me filming there. Centipede. Come on. Like, just the, these, these games are so amazing. And you know what the amazing thing about this place is? The quality on these systems are just so incredible. Look at that. There's Frogger. Look how good. And I'll tell you what. They clean these damn machines the entire time I was there. I saw a lady walking around. They're so spotless and clean. Uh, here's my favorite. Of course, look at this. Dig Dug. I get to play the actual Dig Dug today. You know, I have little Dig Dug on my desk. I love this system. 
I'll tell you what, it, it pretty much was the same exact system that that was. It was pretty cool that I have this little bit. Actually, that's a log system. This is kind of square. It's not the exact same replica, but it's pretty close. <clears throat> I love it. Centipede's one of my favorites too, Noah. I get to play everything. Miss, come on, Miss Pac-Man. That's an old, that's an awesome game. Frogger. This place is awesome. I wanted to just show all the arcade system and everything. I wanted to give a little more detail than I did in the last vlog last year. Look at this double dragon. Look at these games. There's Donkey Kong Jr. Happy Mario Day, everyone. There's Mario. I tweeted a lot of these pictures from these systems today. Um, I, I mean, I put them on Instagram. Check out my Instagram, Rob Fuzz. Super Chat, Dougie, you're amazing. Thank you so much. $2 from Waltograms. Thank you so much. Dougie, you're awesome. Definitely check out Walter Grams, one of my buddies. He is awesome. I'm going to put that bad boy right there, Dougie. Thank you so much. I can't believe you're up, Dougie. Thank you so much. I'm going to put that there. Thank you. Oh, there's Simpsons. We played this game forever. It's weird. Every time we go there, at the end of the day, we usually play. Love this couple retro game places around the Western PA. Yeah, pinball. It's great. Welcome, AJC Magic. How's it going? Here's the Simpsons. We always get to this game late. I wish we could play it a little longer, so. Tron. This is my this is probably my favorite. I played this like five, six times today. It's it's like eight dollars an hour to this place, and it's it's all it's all there's no quarters or anything, so you can play all you want for one price, so. Thanks again, Dougie, for that super chat. It was really nice. Calica. Galactica was one of my favorites. Yeah, I agree with the Timothy Rainwaters. Thanks for the super chat. Thanks, Noah, for thanking him. That is awesome such a cool game. You know, I really like the Journey game. It's similar to Tron. Stargate. This game is cool, too. Kind of like Defender. Awesome. Look at the Simpsons arcade game. Yeah, it was cool. it's a great game, Find and Seek Vlog. So good. Welcome to the stream. I love these these wheels. Come on. Remember the Tron game? This is definitely like Wreck-It Ralph. They had to fix a Felix, Felix Jr. a couple years ago. They don't have it anymore. But they do have... It's funny. The out-of-order signs are from um, Wreck-It Ralph. Look at this guy. Look at this old school projection TV. He's playing Kirby Battle. I don't know what, what Kirby game this is, but he's playing Kirby. Thanks again, Walt, for that super chat. Definitely check out Waltograms. Uh, thanks, Dougie. I think I said Walt. Sorry about that. Look, there's another old school uh, Sega game, Sonic the Hedgehog. This Ice Cold Beard. Look at this game. It was out of order. So, yeah, here's the sign. Look at that same sign from Wreck-It Ralph. It's so cool. Check back tomorrow. Oh, it's not feeling. Diamond Films, what's going on, brother? Welcome to the stream. I remember, uh, I remember play Tron at Fort Wilderson at Disney World when I was a kid. Yeah, that's awesome. There's a lot of stuff I played. I played all this as kids. Look at this Space Invaders. Look how good the quality is on this Space Invaders. I was shocked. I was playing this for a little bit. It's, it's the old school buttons. Look at the old school buttons. That's a little beat up, but look at the quality. They have Super Rush, Sugar Rush Speedway. They don't know it. I don't think that ever came out. Fixit Felix came out, but I don't think Sugar Rush ever came out. But it, that looks similar to, like these games do. Outrun. This was broken too. Look at the sign. But that reminded me of uh, the Sugar Rush. Hey Dave, what's going on? Brand, Brandy and Dave. I listened to going to New Jersey today. I was listening to the podcast with Disney Dan. Definitely check out Brandy and Dave and the Disney Dan podcast. It was incredible. I listened to the whole thing. So good. So much fun. Definitely check out their podcast. Look at this controller. I love this thing. Look at this. Road Blasters, and they had the Moonwalk game, a little controversy in this day and age. Space Invaders, yeah, such a good quality, too. Frankie, Frankie Friday will be Frankie. Look at this. Is that Hulk Hogan there? Look at that. Whoa, that's so cool. Frankie Friday, this Friday, 4.30. Could definitely check it out. We'll be, uh, we'll be live again. So here we go. Tekken 3, Old Street Fighter or Kung Fu. Gosh, you're bringing me back to the teens. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, Timothy, this is a great arcade. I wanted to show everything. Battletoads. I don't even remember this one at all. I don't even remember filming this today. Battletoads. That's so cool. Spy Hunter. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. What a great game, Spy Hunter. Had to put it both screen to show everyone. Oh, the big screen. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. No problem, Brandy and Dave. There is Terminator. Look at that. It's so cool. There's a gun. This is Virtual Cop 2. Look at this. This is so cool. WrestleMania was an awesome game. It sure was. Look at the guns. That is awesome. Uh, look at this. Mortal Kombat 2. This game was pretty awesome. Yeah, these games were so innovative in its time. Look at this game. Just so killer. A lot of fun. 
What's up, Matt? Check out this retro arcade. Mr. Do, I love Mr. Do. Mr. Do's Castle, the sequel. I forgot to play this. Oh my God, Cubert! Well, come on, Cubert. He was in Wreck-It Ralph. So cool. And the whole time they're playing, um, oh, look at that, Police Trainer. Look at that game. Off Road, another cool game. All the time they're playing like '80s music, and they have music videos going, and they have commercials in the back, like old '80s uh, commercial. Love Spy Hunter. Me too, Dave. This place looks straight up my alley. Yeah, you know what's cool too? At, at night, look at this. Tubin, look at this game. That game looks so cool. I never saw this when I was a kid. But after hours, uh, uh, look at that Crystal Castles. You could bring your own alcohol after hours. I gotta go there with my adult friends too one day. It's just so much fun. Look at the, the trackballs. Come on, I love those trackballs. Don't you guys love those trackballs? What is this, Turbo Station? I don't know what that is. APB, look at this game. It's back in the day games nostalgia. Yeah, I love it too. Yeah, Super Mario Brothers. I was saying, Matt, I did a, a vlog on this last year. I got a thousand views on it. So Missile Command, love this game. It's one of my top top ten video games here. Maybe I'll do a stream. Top ten video games. Look at another trackball. I stink at these games though. And the guy put it up there. That's the games that are on there. Super Mario. Happy Mario Day, everyone. This is in. They have three locations. Yestercades.com. I'll put the link below. Red Bank. And there's, uh, there's Westfield, I think there's a new location. And, and Somerville, they have three locations in New Jersey, yes. Cool, cool look. Galaxian. Come on, guys. Galaxian. So cool. Millipede. Look at all these games. Quality's pretty cool, too. I like this because, uh, you know, I don't live stream it. It's, you know, live stream it for video. X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Look at this. Look at this game. Whoa. So cool. Punch out, Clash Cho, ding, 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 ding. I believe this is in Red. This is the Red Bank location in New Jersey, Red Bank, New Jersey. Yes. Sponsored by DG Explorers. That burp. Lethal Enforcer. Look at this. That's just so crazy. NBA Jam. It's so cool. Galaxian. Cool game. I love the trackable games too. They have the, the the air hockey game. This is so popular. They put this right up front. There was, there was people on this the entire time. Thanks, Stacy, for that. Like, here's Asteroids. That is so old school. Look, and this is the back. They have the really, really old games in the back. 1943, Paperboy. Oh, no, this isn't the back yet. This is still the, the regular floor. But the back has, like, a lot of the old arcade games. Burp Count, sponsored by DG Explorers. That's right now a burp number one. Time Pilot. I wasn't a big Time Pilot fan, but that's cool. Sinistar. This guy's so creepy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Sinistar. At the end, he goes. It's so funny. Cracks up. Yeah, definitely. Ch Ar Ar Arachnoid. It was so funny. One of the employees came up to me and was asking me what I was doing. And I told him I had a channel and everything. And he has a he has a YouTube channel, too. He only has 15 subscribers. So um, I subscribed to his channel. Here it is. Happy Mario Day. Mario Brothers. There's Donkey Kong. Sorry about the focus there. Mario Brothers and Donkey Kong. I love these games. Come on, I love this game. I just bought this on the Switch. They have a cool version on the Switch. It's eight bucks. I've been playing on the Switch. Paperboy, yeah. Paperboy was awesome. I didn't even play Paperboy. This there's so many games. It's overwhelming. Gauntlet. This game was cool too. It was huge. 1943. Yeah, look at this. Gauntlet was there was like a this is like a four player game too, kind of like um, Simpsons. So it's pretty much. Oh, this is my one of my, this is top five. Robotron. God, I love this. With the two joysticks, you you, you steer. Um, yeah, I found the third location. Yeah, it's Westfield. Yep, Stacy. There's Pac-Man. There's the classic. That is awesome. That is so cool. You guys hear me all right? The audio is good? Just making sure. I don't know if the other thing's a little loud or not. Berserker by Stern. That was the company. They didn't do many games, but Stern, did. they did a lot of pinball machines, I think. Stern. Root Beer Tapper. My, my son knows this from Wreck-It Ralph. Hey, Tapper, give me a drink. I played this one. I was kicking butt on Tapper. This game was so much fun. There it is. Tempest, another amazing game. I'd probably put this in my top 20 video games. That is awesome. Track and Field. This game was awesome, too. Pac-Man, the, the classic. Yep. That is so cool. Bubble, bu bubble, bubble. That's so cool. 
Oh, here is Burger Time. That was another cool arcade game that came out at home, too. It's Westfield, New Jersey. This is a cool game. You make the burger patties. The guy comes down, the eggs and the hot dogs and everything. Look at this. That's so crazy. There it is. I want to show Donkey Kong again. I filmed this twice. Tapper. Ta There's Tapper and Root Beer Tapper for the politically correct. Uh, yeah, cool. The one in Somerville is about the same size as this one. The, the one in Westfield I heard is huge. That's what the guy who works there was telling me one of the locations is big. I know the Westfield, the Somerville one is about the same size as this. I don't even know about that new location. But yeah, I got I to gotta check out the guy. Um, I met the employee there as a YouTube channel. I'm the 16th subscriber, so he's telling me about what he does. I subscribed him. There it is. Happy Mario Day, everyone. M-A-R and the day 10. Mario. There's the original old school Donkey Kong. One of my favorite all-time games. I just love looking at it. Look how weird Mario looks there. Then they have Pinball Machines. Kiss Pinball Machine. That's a newer version. That's not the old version. X-Men. A, a lot of their pinball. Uh, Donkey Kong is hard. I agree, Noah. Um, a lot of their are there. A lot of their pinball machines this year were out of order. Terminator, um, Tales from the Crypt, Austin Powers. There's a lot. Of, there was a lot of arcade games. Unfortunately, a lot of them were out of order. I don't know what the deal is. I think they're, I don't. I'm gonna guess they're not easy to do. Thanks, Matt Lake. Everyone, please don't forget to smash the like button if you're new to the channel. Please hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you guys so much, and thank you guys for that. Thank you, Dougie, for that super chat. It was so nice. You Harley Davidson. Uh, the X Files. There's Wheel of Fortune. That's the one row there. Roller Coaster Tycoon. That's on the end there. Hey Ruth, what's going on? Walking Dead. Golden Eye. Happy Mario Day, everyone. Matt, Noah, Stacy, Lucky Minute, Ruth. Happy Mario Day. Iron Man. I never. I don't remember this one. Iron Man video game. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. The Adam's Family. Twilight Zone. Twilight, Twilight Zone in the picture. A lot of cool stuff from the show and everything. It kind of reminded me of the Twilight Zone ride. Like all the little obscure things. The robot in there. There's a lot of this. The host of the show. Rod Sterling. I think it's the name. Rod Sterling. So this is the back. This is the really old game. This is where the party room is. Bad Dudes. Neo Geo. Golden Tee. That was a bowling game over there. Here's the Aerosmith shooting game. Revolution. That game wasn't that great. I tried playing it. Happy Mario Day. That's right, Matt. <laughs> M-A-R-10. Mario. Basically, I think it's $20 off Mario games. Congo Bongo. The Poor Man's Donkey Kong. That's what I was thinking. I said, I know I'm going to say the Poor Man's Donkey Kong. I liked that too as a kid. Here we go. Mario. Super Mario Brothers. Old school like on the video game. Happy Mario Day, everyone. There he is. There's Mario again. What a great way to celebrate Mario Day. And I told them too. I'm like, mark your calendar. You guys should make a big deal. Gorf, come on, race driving. Look at these old school games. Uh, Zaxxon, I like this game. It was kind of cool. Um, Lucky Minute says, I had a pinball game growing up. It was called Butterflies. It was from the 70s. That's cool. Gorf, there it is. Race driving, Zaxxon. And then this is the, the other wall here, back here. Uh, Xavius. What the heck is that called? I forget what that, I can't really make that out. Rolling Thunder. Uh, Moon Patrol. I remember these games from, the, you know, things. Pengo with these little penguins. Hey, Kieran, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Good night, Dave. Good night, Brandy and Dave. Definitely check out their podcast. Uh, I may or may not be on it in the future, so. But uh, a nice road trip Dave announced he's going to be on it soon, and the Disney Dave uh, was great. Disney Dave, Disney Dan podcast was really cool, and uh, Road Trip Dave's gonna be on it. So look at these posters. I had, I'll tell you the posters I had. I had that Breakfast Club poster. Uh, Clerks is in Red Bank, New Jersey. That's where Kevin Smith's son. So that was a nice little tribute to him there. I had that Gremlins poster. I had that Speed poster. I had that Pee Wee poster. I had that Pretty in Pink poster. I, I didn't have those. I had the Empire Strikes Back poster. So I, I just love the walls too. Yestercades. That's how it's spelled out. Yestercades.com if you want to check it out. So they have some uh, Super Nintendo posters and stuff like that. And also too, they have systems set up around the room. Like you can play any game you want. Kids really, the younger kids really like that because they're used to it. They're not, it's funny because the, the systems around the wall, you know, they have Xbox and PlayStation, all that stuff. I had that Ghostbusters poster similar. I had that Back to the Future poster. It was awesome. 
I, st I don't know where these posters are. I wish I had them still. I got rid of a lot of them. I had an E.T. poster. I don't think I had that one. Friday the 13th. I'm not a big horror fan. I didn't have that. Groundhog's Day. But yeah, this place is so cool. Donkey Kong Country. There's some Mario artwork. Happy Mario Day, everyone. And there's some more Mario stuff. Mario Brothers 2. Happy Mario Day. DuckTales. Just a cool place. Tetris. There you go. Thanks, Stacy. Yesterkades. Uh, Mario Brothers. There's Wreck-It Ralph. That's where they had Fix-It Felix. Right there in the front there. I don't know why they got rid of it, though. So there's the back, too. I don't know what that pillow is. I don't know. The Blues Brothers back there. There it is. There's the Teddy Ruxman stuff. There's the things for the younger kids. Someone's playing Spider-Man. They're playing... Um, um, they're playing Switch there, too. The kids really like that. Pitfall. That was another great game. Arcade game. My favorite movie, Back to the Future. I love that movie. Matt, I agree with you. There's Sonic, Zelda. There's a, a poster of a lot of the 2600 games. Just a lot of fun. I was going to ask what happened to your, all your posters. I don't know, Ruth. I just got rid of them over the years. I used to collect movie posters. I had probably about, I'd guess about a thousand of them. I had a lot of them, maybe more. I used to go to the, the video places, and I used to go to, um, um, there's Simpsons again. I used to go to the video stores and movie uh, places and get them, or I used to buy them and everything. I collected them a lot, so. But that's why I love the posters on the wall. I love the games. It's just awesome, so. Um, what year is this vlog? It was from last year, last March. Uh, I'll, I'll send you the link, Matt. You can check it. Now, there we go, guys, and that's it. That's what I filmed today. It's pretty cool. What would you guys think? That place is pretty awesome, isn't it? I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. Um, there's Stacy. My uncle used to be projectionist at a movie theater in South Jersey. I had a whole bunch of movie posters. I wish I kept them. Some of them are worth money. I'm sure a lot of them are worth money, Stacy. A lot of them I had, a lot of the original posters, some folded, some one sheets that weren't folded and everything. Yeah, this, that was, that, Matt, I filmed that today. It is Mario Day. I filmed that day. Oh, thank you so much, Ruth. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Happy Mario Day. Thank you so much. And, uh, let me, let me get Dougie back here too. Thank you so much, Walt, uh, Grams, Dougie, and Ruth for the super chats. That was very nice of you guys. Very cool. Thank you guys so much for the super chats. I appreciate it. But yeah, I, I filmed that today, Matt. And then I, I did a vlog last year, too. So if you want to see what it was like last year, um, like I said, it had about 1,000 views. Um, thank you, Ruth. Thank, uh, thanks, Dougie. I appreciate the super chat. I got a ton of super chats on Frankie Friday. I appreciate it, guys. That was so nice of you guys uh, the other day and today. And thanks again, Ruth and Dougie, for the super chat. That is awesome. No problem. Yeah, I love that place, Yester Kids. I've been there about five times. It's a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, Mario Day. I think the games are, are $20 off. Some Even some of the new games. I was looking here. I got the Switch right here. I was looking on there and see. Um, I don't know. I was trying to find out. Um, you would think it would be the first thing that pops up and everything, but, um, I don't see it on here. I thought I was hoping for the store. Um, I don't have a couple of the games, so I would like, uh, I'd like to get some of them. Uh, but yeah, I don't see, I thought on the digital it was going to be $20 off too. So, um, but yeah, I don't see it. So, so what is, what is Mario day? I looked it up. I hit the find Mario M A R one zero day. Mario Day is the holiday for the fictional character Mario. The day is on March 10th. The reason that it's featured on this day is Mar M A R 10 is short for March 10th. It looks like Mario. So I don't know. I don't know who came up with this idea. I don't know who came up. It's kind of like a, a made up holiday or something. I don't know. I'm going on um I'm going on the Nintendo site. They wish everyone a happy Mario Day. Oh cool. I'm going to steal this graphic as a nice little uh, happy Mario graphic there, and uh, Happy Mario Day! It's it's Mario's special day. Join in fun as we celebrate the mustachioed hero with fun content and special offers. Mario jumps to Google Maps. Have fun getting your destination with Mario Maps on Google Maps. Um, mobile deals. Super Mario Run is fifty percent off. Um, new rewards. Uh, don't forget the Switch games, Odyssey, Mario Kart, Mario Party, Super Mario Brothers, and Smash Brothers. That they're all twenty dollars off. So. All cool. All good deals and everything. Uh, so let's see what the comments say, guys. It says, hey, uh, TCRMNK, welcome to the stream. You seem like you're new. 
Thank you so much for coming. I, uh, Matt says, I love all those games. They are old games. I don't see them here in Florida. Yeah, Matt, there's not many retro game arcades up there. There's a couple in Long Island where I live. They're in a couple of museums and everything. Uh, Lucky Minute says, super cool. I got to take the husband. Thanks for sharing. Thank you so much, Lucky Minute. Good good seeing you here. Um, ODA saying hi to everyone. Um, yeah, so I, what, what's your favorite game? What video games did you grow up with? I had all the systems. I had, in the beginning, I had... Um, Let's play this tape again. You got to analyze this like the Zabruder film. So that's outside. That's Red Bank. That's Front Street in Red Bank. There it is on the outside there. You know, they have, uh, I love the sign Yester and then Cades. I love their logo. The arcade has a little Pac-Man in it for the E on your arcade. Um, And then you go inside. There was me doing my intro there. And there's, uh, you know, those games. But look look at this old, look, they have the pinball machine. They have an old look at that TV. Look, like it's like I, you know you could have had that TV when I was young. So, but you know a lot of these games uh, you play on a, the old CRT TVs and everything. You can't really play them on these HD TVs and everything because they look lousy, you know. And some of them just don't play, you know. They don't play on stuff. They just look bad. And then they had this old school. There's a lava lamp. Come on, a lava lamp. When was the last time you guys saw a lava lamp? I just think that's awesome. I think the lava lamp is really cool. So let's see. And then here's the here's the little um, museum here. Like, look at that. It's, what is it called? The water Waterfall Tic-Tac-Toe. So they had a the Tic-Tac-Toe game. Look at that cell phone. Look at that. That's the, that's the different test scores you filled in with the number two pencil. Number two pencil. That was all you can do. You can't use a number one pencil or, you know, anything else. You just can't do. Lucky Minute says their favorite was Miss Pac-Man. Matt says he's jealous. Yeah, this place was awesome. I don't know what those buttons are. It's kind of cool. But I, I love these these cases they have here. There's Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, the combo Ninja Turtles. There's Mortal Kombat. There's the old Game Boy thing. Um, I don't know what that system is. I think that's a Sega system in the back. But look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Do you guys remember this cable box here? Did anyone ever have this cable box? It was cool. It was, um, you know, channels two through, I don't know, 65 or something. And the thing on this on the top switch, the top switch would be line number one. You hit the button and on the, t- like it was wire too. You had to take a wire. You come over, you hit one, channel two, channel five, NBC, ABC, ABC whatever. And then you want to get the middle channels you put in the middle. Then you hit the button and then you do it all the way down. And then you get, there's three rows of channels and you hit the buttons and everything. And it would make a big clink, big clunk. And I think, I don't know what the thing on the right was. I think it was a fine tuner. I don't, it was a cable, so it wasn't really fine tuning much stuff. Uh, Stacy Rogers says, my first game system was Atari. In fact, the Atari that was sitting on top of that TV, I still have it. That's cool. Yeah, I had it, Atari 2600, Stacy. I think it's still at my parents' house, which I was today. Oh, by the way, guys, you want to see the you want to see the cutest thing ever? My mother gave it to me today. Those tests with number two peoples gave me. Uh, Ruth said that those tests with the number two pencil gave me anxiety. Yeah, me too. Me too, Stacy. I'm just trying to see if there's anything and there's not, which I'm going to show you guys. All right, ready for this, guys? Look at this. I don't know what. The, I don't think this is a Disney collectible. I don't know. I got to look it up. If you guys want to look on eBay or something, I don't know. Look at this. I went to my parents' house today. Look at this. Huey, Dewey, and Louie wallet. Look at this little wallet, right, guys? Ready for this? You want to see the cutest thing ever? You want to know the cutest thing? This was, I was sitting on the dining room table, and my mom's like, do you remember what this is? I'm like, kind of. It's like my wallet when I was a kid. <clears throat> my mom told me this wallet, ready for this? I used to bring my milk money when I was in kindergarten. That's what, <laughs> kindergarten, my milk money wallet. So cute. I checked in there. There is nothing in there. But come on, look how cute that is. The Huey and Dewey wallet. So cute. And I'm going to put this on my desk. So cool, so cute. I was so I'm like, oh, it was so. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is a collectible or not. But this is for me. This is sentimental value. My wallet from kindergarten when I was a kid. How cute is that? Isn't that cool? Yeah, it was so cool. So I really like that. Very cute. Yeah. All right. So back to this. So I probably had that wallet when I had this uh, controller too. So oh, oh so back there. Um, I kind of I missed it on, on the live stream. There's a tape deck back there, Nirvana, Pearl Jam. I think that's kind of a cool tribute to tape decks. I haven't listened to a tape in a long time. Oh, I, I cleaned a tape deck the other day for my mother-in-law. So the Atari 2600 system, 
I never had that system. I had I just had the sixteen. The Tari, what was the first one called? Um, Stacy, do you remember what the first one? It's Tari. 2600 and maybe the 1600 i don't remember what the first one's called but there's the cartridges pac-man i remember when pac-man came out pac-man was uh dizzy collectible sure it's not an antique yeah it's cute stacy i really like it. that was 50 years ago and i'm not that old matt not yet 48 years i'm 48 i'll tell you my age so but that was not 48 when i guess it was 42 years ago because i was five or six in kindergarten so about 40 years old that wallet yeah so here it is um kaboom uh, oh, look at that back there. If you guys see it, right behind Pac-Man, that is the E.T. video game. That is, It's a rare game, and um, they buried... They, it was like one of the worst catastrophes of video games in the time. They rushed it. It's a terrible game. They dumped it. There's a documentary on finding all the dumped cartridges. They found them. They dumped like hundreds of them, hundreds of like, I don't know, thousands of them or something. There's a whole documentary I don't remember the other than Atari. Yeah, it was Atari. I thought, it, you know what? Maybe that is, a, I thought it was Atari 2600. I thought maybe um, maybe that is um, just an updated version of the 2600. But yeah, Pac-Man when it came out, games were, I would say, 20 to $30 on Atari. Pac-Man, when it came out, it was so big and it was so hard. To, it was like so exclusive. I got a day of that cartridge right there. It was fifty or sixty dollars. I don't remember what the exact price was, but it was it was a, it was expensive. Sixty bucks just to play Pac Man at home. I'll tell you what, that game was horrible. Oh yeah, there's Gremlins there too. Is that Gremlins? Oh, oh there's a Gremlin right there. Oh yeah, Matt, I didn't even see that. See, there's so many details. You can look at this so much time. Asteroids. I don't know what that game is. Something Fight Club. Uh, there's a little Sega game. I had that Game Boy. I think I still have that Game Boy. I don't know Tetris. On the Game Boy, I hope I still have it. Mine was kind of beat up though. I used to love Mario Land on that little car, that little game system there. There's the Lynx. There's an answer machine. There's a Pokemon card over there. That's not too old, but they threw that in there. I had this system right here in television, and I think my 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 dad's uncle worked for worked for in television, and he used to get us all those games. If you see these controllers, they had the buttons on them. On the right there, there's an overlay. You would overlay the game. It, those two overlays came with the game, and you would push it and put it in there. The baseball. The, we had all the sports. We had all the games. Sub Battle was an amazing game. Um, baseball, soccer, tennis, um, hockey, basketball. They were so bad. They looked like penguins. The characters were so bad. But at that time, that was that was the that was the amazing system. You know, when I was a kid. I'm trying to see what the, these Burger Time, the game, Pitfall. I love Pitfall. There's some more of the overlays from those games. I had the Astro Blaster, a Blockbuster card. Come on, guys, a Blockbuster card. Lucky Minute, my first video game system was Commodore 64. Did anyone have that? I had the Commodore 64, Lucky Minute. I had the Commodore 128. I had the Commodore Amiga. I love Commodore. That was a great system, the Commodore 64. It was it was definitely before its time. It just wasn't that great. Uh, I used to trade games with my friends. I was just I, I was when I went to the Knicks game the other day. We were talking about it. Uh, I bought T C R M N K. I bought Mario Land for my Game Boy Advance not too long ago. It was hard, but definitely worth it. It's hard to buy her for the first Atari console came out in 1977 and it was 2600. Yeah, I guess that that was a remake of it. So hey, Kyle's vlog. What's going on, brother? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're recovered. And Atari Atari is my first system, and then NES. That is awesome, Kyle. Uh, you gotta rewind. You gotta rewind this vlog and watch it. Uh, I was just showing all the classic arcade game, arcade games and everything. We're coming back here, analyzing this case full of uh, their little museum there. The Lynx. What what game is that, guys? The red thing. Do you guys remember what that was? Uh, it was kind of like um, oh, what was the other game? My Simon. Remember Simon with the four colors? But that was called something too, and that was kind of a pattern game, and you would have to hit the pattern too. Um, I forget what that was, but yeah, that ge that game is awesome too. If anyone can remember that, that's the ultimate trivia. That game in the lower right hand corner with the red, it lights up and everything. I don't remember what that thing is. I wish I went in there and looked. Um, I I kind of sped up a little bit here. I shouldn't have did this as fast. There's a uh, what is that? Sh uh, Shaq Fu. Look at that Shaq Fu game. A blockbuster. Oh, look, I wonder how much you know if that if blockbuster was out thirty years ago. And they had to pay late fees from 30 years in that Blockbuster cartridges, that Blockbuster cases back there. I wonder how much the late fees were for that movie was. It's probably not even a good movie. I can't see what it is. 
Uh, <laughs> there's Hulk Hogan. Looks like a stretchy guy. There's another Mario game, Mario World 64. Happy Mario Day, guys. I don't know what that system is. Whoa, what is that? I can't tell what that system is. I don't know. Anyone know what that is? Okay, so if you guys remember, uh, there's some more Nintendo cartridges back there. Okadata 2400. Um, the Okadata, you know, when you, on, on the Commodore 64 and O's kind of um, those Hulk Hogan figure. Yeah, Matt, that was cool. Uh, I remember it, but the name of it, uh, Ray isn't in the room. He would know what it was. Yeah, I forget what that was. It was like Zorg or Z- I don't. It wasn't Zorg. I don't remember what the heck it is. But, you know, I don't know if you guys realize early days of computers, you would have to go on the Shag Fu. It was awesome, Kyle. Yeah. The early days of um, the early days of computers, you would have to go through the phone. Uh, happy Mario Day, Matt Lake. Um, you would have to go through the phone to connect to the Internet. And these are the modems and everything. And, in, you know, if you guys saw war games or anything like that, you used to have a coupler with the phone. And then they got rid of that. They had these and everything. But, oh, my God, it was so slow. Just text. It was really uh, slow. Uh, oh, there's Zelda. Yeah, good call, Matt. In the upper right there, Zelda. Um, there's there's a watch. I think that's a gaming watch or something. Um, I don't know what these, these pogs there. I never was a big collector of pogs. Nintendo 64 with Zelda in there. Oh, there is... Um, there's that the hillbilly wrestler. He was in the back there. There is the Nintendo 64. There it is right there. And there's another one of those uh, sheets. Bases loaded. Great game. Breakout was another great game. Uh, what is that? Sonic. Miss Pac-Man. You know, those games were so awful on the, on the systems. There's there's the Simpsons. There's another Mario game there. Happy Mario Day. Oh, I love that classic controller. There's another. There's the Atari 2600. That's what they look like. They're right there. See it? That is the the original one. There's a blockbuster card. Uh, I can't see what that's in the background there. Oh, there's is that the the thing that ET called home? What speak and spell? That's speak and spell. Blockbuster. There's a matchbox car. Um, there it is. This is what you do, hillbilly Jim. That's right, Stacy. I had that. I, I love. I had that Hulk Hogan figure. That's awesome. Uh, I never was really into wrestler, but again, too, when you wanted to save stuff, you put it on a, a, the floppy disks. If you there was a notcher you can notch the discs with, you could flip them. <coughs> Dual sided disc, you got to pay extra for, it, or you could just buy that tool and double side the discs. There a three M disc. Look at the Nashua disc. That was a brand. Here is a Polaroid. Speak and spell in the background. I don't know what that game is there. Oh, you know, I know what that is. <coughs> You're gonna laugh if you guys think what you see what that disc is. Hold on a sec. Do you guys see what that disc is in the background? You're going to laugh when you see what it was. I don't know if you guys, in the early days of the internet, floppy disk, yes. I noticed you have a Switch. Have you played Breath of the Wild? Of course, yeah, I've played Breath of the Wild. Uh, I'm not really good at it. Um, if you guys see that disc, in the early days of the internet, America Online was the biggest thing. And you would have to subscribe to America Online. They had chat rooms and email, early uh, email and stuff like that. And they would always send these discs in the mail. I must have had 500 of these discs. That is an AOL disc that they sent you in the mail. That is so funny. Mortal Kombat. That's right, Matt. Um, yeah, but there is there is a, a Cube controller for Nintendo. There's another test. There's the Commodore 64. Mortal Kombat. There it is. Uh, a, a, a bootleg of Lethal Weapon on videotape. That's awesome. Just that This is labeled Lethal Weapon. There's Gauntlet. We saw that in the arcade before. What is that? I can't see what that is. I don't know, there's some Nintendo 64 game systems here, uh, games. This is um, Waterfall Mouthful. That's what it's called. And you would hit the button, and these rings would fly up. And there's these little pegs, and the rings would fall on the different pegs. I don't know what that one is. That's a version of it, though. But those games were so cheesy. They were huge for a while. Hey, well, free trial. That's right, Stacy. Uh, I might even have the Hillbilly Jim one, too. And Stacy, you got to send me pictures of this. Uh, Andre the Giant, Randy Macho Man Savage, Miss Elizabeth. I liked her when I was a kid. Floppy disk. My mom teaches fifth grade. Kids called it the save symbol. Uh, they didn't even know what about floppy disks. Yeah. AOL charged $19 a month. That's true. You know, but internet connection is not that cheap now, too. But it's a billion times faster. Yep. Pokemon card. I had the orange water game. Yes, Stacey, those orange water games are awesome. Pokemon cards. 
Yeah, I love this. Come on. This museum alone is worth going to see this place. So here it is up on the screen here. Look at that TV, old school TV. What, there's another. Oh, Stacy, what is that character up there? What is that wrestling character? I don't know who it is. Look at that old retro TV, this Mario thing. I don't think it's, hmm. I don't know how old that Mario is, but he looks kind of new. But there's another uh, Macho Man, Savage maybe. I don't know. Wh who is that up there, Stacy? Uh that that guy right there is 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 part of the Teddy Ruxpin. So Teddy Ruxpin was an animated doll. You'll see him coming up here. But he, I think I think this guy right here. I don't remember what this guy's name is, but it was kind of cool. Like if you guys like animatronics and everything back in the days, um, that red game was named Merlin. There you go, Stacy Merlin. Thank you so much. I, what did I say, Zorg or something? I know it had like a name, Macho Man. There he is, the Macho Man. Thanks, guys. But um, who still has their AOL email address? I use it for junk mail. I still have it. No, you know I don't have it. Um, I don't think I have it. I finally gave it up. I don't use it anymore. So uh, yeah, now you can get AOL address for free. You know, like a Gmail account or whatever. But they finally got smart. But this guy has glasses on. I don't remember if anyone can remember the Teddy Ruxpin. What that guy's name is? Uh, I'd be impressed. So Teddy Ruxpin. I don't know. I don't even know how to spell Ruxpin. I can't remember, R-X, R-U-X-P-I-N, so, um, let's see, the the Teddy Ruxpin, the official return, by, the, oh, he came back out again, oh, that's funny, I wonder what uh, Teddy Ruxpin goes for on eBay, let's see what Teddy Ruxpin is, Teddy Ruxpin terrified me as a kid, yeah, Kyle, he was kind of scary, he was kind of like an animatronic then, um, I can tell you wrestlers, I have been watching uh, wrestling for 30 years, man. Who would, oh, you told me it was. Ray just came in the room. I described him when you knew exactly what it was. I knew he would. That's awesome. Thanks, Ray. That is awesome. Let's see what Teddy Ruxpin sells for on, uh, he doesn't go for much. He's from 1985, Worlds of Wonder, original Teddy Ruxpin. Uh, oh, there we go. This is, that guy's name is Teddy Ruxpin, Worlds of Wonder. That guy's name is Grubby. Grubby. He went for a hundred dollars. Sold on March tenth. Someone bought it. Uh, another uh, Teddy Ruxpin sold for seventy five bucks. Um, there's a Teddy Ruxpin cartridge. I guess he he had a tape in the back. You would play the tape. He would talk to you. Um, yeah, Grubby. G R U B B Y. Grubby. And then this guy. Oh, Teddy Ruxpin. Grubby looks like the guy from. Uh, I don't know what that. I don't think that's. It says Disney's Teddy Ruxpin friend Grubby stuffed toy animal. But I'll tell you what, this looks like the um, this looks like the 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 alien from um, from Alien Encounter. This, but I don't think this is Grubby. Grubby may, look, might look like this guy. Let me see if I can pull this up here. Hold on a sec. Uh, Grubby, so funny. But look, this is what, what is the guy from Alien Encounter? But this, look at this. There's they're saying this guy's Grubby. That's not the same guy. That looks like the alien from Alien Encounter. I don't know. Uh, tell you, I could tell you, wrestlers. Um, the guy from Airwolf, Jan Michael Vincent died. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I saw that. I thought it was, he died the other day. I think. Uh, yeah, he had a rough life. He had a couple. I he had like a got an accident. I know he was on like a show once. He was all bandaged up and everything. And I, I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even know he was still alive. What's up there? I think there's some Nintendo things. I don't know what that is. I should have got it better. That was like a mini uh, game system or something. I don't know what that was. It's like a portable game system. I don't know who that is. There's a rock singer. There's some Nintendo figures up there. But come on, look at this collection. Okay, what's here, guys? Uh, oh, look, at what are those trolls? Uh, I don't know what that is in the background. What is that? That like, maybe, oh, it's a Transformer. Oh, there's some Transformers. Uh, there's a Ninja Turtle. Um, I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. Blastomatic rap, rap, rap. He was an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah. He died in February. Yeah, he died a while ago. Yeah, but I just, I just saw that too, Stacy. There was something, a news article or something. I just saw it too, so that's why Stacy probably mentioned it. There's a dog. There's Teddy Ruxpin. There's a Polaroid one step. There's Teddy Ruxpin with the glasses. Look at that. Wow, look at the glasses on that. Those cool retro glasses. I love this. The flash bulb that used, used to take flashes. You used to buy a flash bar of ten. It would, it would, the chemical flash the light and you could only use it once. 10 flashes, that's it. That was a 110 cam. Remember that, guys? You could flash. There's a Nerf gun or something. I have that Pez. That's cool. I love Pez. Uh, it's just, uh, it was, not, oh yeah, it was February 10th. Okay. Uh, there's a Nerf thing in the background. 
Um, yeah, I, I love this. So there's Stone Temple Pilots. I had that similar phone to that. That was the Nokia phone. Oh, I, I don't think I got, I didn't get the second half. I think someone was standing there. That's why. Um, there's a cassette deck. I don't know. What is that in the background? Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. It looks like some video games. Uh, wow. There's a lot of turbo graphics. That was a video game, I guess. Uh, the cassette deck again. Oh, that's a mini cassette deck I just passed by. I don't know what that system is. I guess it's something graphics, G-R-I-F-I-X. I I remember the flash bars. The flash bars were crazy, Stacy. I'm getting late. Take care, Matt. Thank you so much. You can watch the replay tomorrow. I'm only going to be on another 10 minutes, Matt, so if you want to hang in there. There's the original PlayStation Haunted House. Haunted House was such a great game. On the Atari 2600 Breakout, another great game, but Haunted House was great. If you guys saw uh, Ready Player One, uh, they had Adventure on there. I didn't see an Adventure cartridge, but Robin uh, Warnett, he did the first Easter egg, and that was part of the movie. There's a spoiler if you haven't seen the movie, but um, really cool. It reminds me of Haunted House was the same type of game as that. Oh, look at that, a Magic 8-Ball. What is that? I don't know what these stickers are. I don't know what that stuff is. There's some more Pogs. Uh, take care. Yeah, that's cool. TCRMX, I'm just going another 10 minutes. I'm out of here. There's some more Pokemon cards. I, I had that answer machine, like literally that same exact answer machine. Sega Genesis. There's the Merlin right there. That's what we're talking about. Thank you so much for identifying the Merlin. Um, what else is here? There's another Donkey Kong. Happy Mario Day. Uh, Donkey Kong for the ColecoVision. I used to love Donkey Kong ColecoVision. Uh, that's all right, ODA. I miss you. I hope you're good. Hope everything's good. I'm glad you're listening. If you look directly into one of those flash bars, you were blind. Yeah, for an hour. I agree, Stacy. It was so bad. So terrible. Double Dragon video game. There's a Street Fighter game. Uh, there's a baseball game back there. There's the bracelets. Uh, that's a cool system. Look at that. Sega had a, a, a additional CD on there. Max Headroom. Uh, yeah, I think it is, Stacy. Good call. Max Headroom. There's a Sega Genesis thing. There's a Furby. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Battlefront 2 for PlayStation 2. Uh, Star Wars. It's a great game. We love Battlefront now. Um, what is that? Tony Pro, Sega, or something like that. Um, yeah, look at this. Pac-Man. Dr. Mario. Here's a virtual Game Boy. They had these things ahead of its time. There is a figure with um, E.T. in there. I heard a noise. I didn't know what it was. There is a virtual glove power glove for nintendo uh there's just a lot of cool stuff here look at this nintendo the original i had that system i don't think i don't think i have it anymore i wish i had it oh look at that the the football games the little pocket games i have that stuffed chicken where's their stuffed chicken i miss the stuffed chicken noah said he has the stuffed chicken i miss this where's the stuffed chicken Oh, there's a stuffed chicken, the figure. That's funny, Noah, on the bottom shelf there. I didn't even get to that. I'm not even looking at the bottom. I get to it later, but, oh, that's so funny, Noah. I don't know what that other little game system is. It's funny because I, I can't even identify all this stuff. There's Mario Brother game over there. Happy Mario Day. Um, Sega Genesis, like I said. Oh, there's there's a speaking spell. I don't think that other thing was a speaking spell. That's a speaking spell right there, E.T. They should have put that next to E.T. That's, that's a, that's a, they should have did that. Um, let's see what else is here. Um, what is that little game? Fuzzy puzzle, something puzzle. That's an old Nintendo game. There's another Mario game. Happy Mario Day. What is that? I think it's Mario. Mario Paint. Oh, okay, that's Mario. Another Mario game there. There's the gun for Duck Hunt on the Super Nintendo. Uh, there's an old, um, a DS back there. There's Virtual Boy. I don't know what that is. Mario Tennis. Happy Mario Day, everyone. There's another flip phone. Sega Genesis 2. I bet someone's garage sales, all this stuff. Yeah, they probably collected it from garage sales and everything. There's Noah's Chicken back there. Look, there's another. There's the Toss game. That's the Toss game I was talking about. That's the one I had, and they have it back there. That was the that was the famous one, the Toss game. The other ones were, I don't know. There's another Sega system right there. Just so cool. And then we went into the arcade game. So, yeah, that was cool to look back at that case and just identify all that stuff. There was a stuffed chicken. It was a Beanie Baby. Yes, Stacy, Beanie Babies. That is so right. Beanie Babies. That is right. Not, uh, no one doesn't even know Beanie Babies. That was so big. 
Those damn Beanie Babies, they went for a lot. I wonder I wonder how much Beanie Bee. I'm going to look on eBay. I love looking at eBay just to see what stuff is about. You know what I, I took home today? Um, uh, I, I don't... I took home, um, I had a lot of Stephen King books, and my mother had a lot of the original ones um, when, she, you know, growing up and everything. And we kind of shared our collection. So my mother was going to give it to a, a, her church bazaar. And I said, you know what? No way. I want to, I want to, I want to, uh, you know, I don't know. I might sell them on eBay. I might hold on to them. I'm not sure. Uh, the Beanie Chicken. Yeah. Beanie Baby, Beanie Chicken. The Beanie Babies, that's what they call them. So I'm looking up here. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's see what the uh, chicken is. I wonder if any of that stuff's worth money. Beanie Baby Chicken. Eh, it's not. It's uh, from 1986. Uh, he's just $5. It was sold. It wasn't worth much. There it is. Beanie Baby Plush Toys. 15 of them you can get for thirteen ninety five. So you can get the Noah Beanie Baby Chicken or Rooster. He's not really worth much, unfortunately. So anywhere from $1, $2, $3. But yeah, it's just cute. Five dollars. The beanie, and if you don't have the tag, they're not worth. I still have buckets of my buckets of beanie babies. You can't give them away now. Oh man, Stacy, I thought that was gonna be. It was a rooster. It is a rooster. I was gonna say it is a rooster. His name is Strut the Rooster. That's a good call. I didn't know if I was getting it wrong or not. But um, yeah, there were there were a lot of money for a lot of them. I don't know if there's any um, most valuable one or anything. Um, but yeah, Beanie Babies, wow. That was just a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys enjoyed checking out Yestercades. And it was cool. I met that kid who has a channel too. I I, uh, I think his name is Brandon or Justin. Justin, I, I think his name is. Yeah, Justin, if you're watching, how you doing, buddy? He subscribed to my channel. I told him I'm going to do a video on this. So I was hoping you would come in the chat. But uh, I'm going to put Justin's link down there if you want to subscribe to Justin. He only has 16 subscribers. I want to get him some subscribers. So I believe that's his name, Justin. If I if I got your name wrong, I'm sorry. It was really loud in there. So, uh, But thank you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification button. If you haven't hit the like button, please hit that like button. I appreciate it. 12 likes. Uh, I'm sorry. I got 12 viewers still. Thank you guys so much. 15 thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. Uh, definitely check out my partner channels. Uh, they're listed below, and my power and support channels, they're listed below. Don't forget my sponsor, d g Explorers. Thank you guys so much for being my burp sponsor. And 360 Multimedia, that is my multimedia company. And don't forget, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, of course, YouTube, uh, and my website, robfuzz.com. All the links are there. It's my old blog. I've had that blog for about 10 years now. I'm... I'm dusting off the, the the blog and I'm putting my links on there and everything. So definitely go check out robfuzz.com. I, I got the name back. Some Someone stole my name for like six years, five years. And then I, I noticed the other day it was still, it was available. And I got a last minute email from these, these people. Hey, are you interested in buying it? I'm like, really? They let it expire. They're like, hey, you interested in buying it? So I let it expire. I bought it back again, robfuzz.com. I had robfuzz.live. I had my full name. Dot com, but I got robfuzz.com back. So, Noah, thank you so much, buddy. Happy March 10th day. I appreciate it, Super Mod. Thank you so much for the Super Chat, Ruth. Thank you so much for the Super Chat, Dougie. I don't think he's here anymore. It's late where he is. If you're ever going back to the one in Red Bank with your adult friends, let me know. I'll try to come. All right, Stacy, no problem. Thank you for sharing. No problem, Lucky Minute. Happy Mario Day, guys. Uh, yeah, I always go back there, Stacy. I don't know if I'm going to go at night. I think I would love to go at night, have some beers and have some fun and everything. Um, it's a great place. I definitely recommend it. So, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for checking out the stream. I know it was a little bit late. Uh, you know, a lot of my West coasters, uh, could, could check this out and everything. And, uh, I just kind of wanted to do the video and have it there. If, if anyone wanted to come back and watch it. And like I said, that yesterday's one, um, I, I'll link it below. I did it last year. I had about a thousand views on that. It was one of my big videos. I appreciate it. So thank you guys so much, and uh, don't forget uh, Frankie Friday this Friday, 4.30. Every Friday we do Frankie Friday. We did our characters last week. We had a lot of fun, and uh, we're going to be doing some new pub talks soon, uh, so check that out. I've, I'm going to be doing uh, a podcast too, so check that out. More details coming on that. I think I have a great idea. I got a couple of people lined up, so definitely check that out. I know a lot of people do podcasts and YouTube channels and everything, but I think it's going to be fun. 
Uh, and again, thank you so much, Ruth and Dougie, for the super chats. That was very nice of you guys. Um, I definitely appreciate it. And uh, everyone have a great week. Um, oh, we're going to do a pub talk for St. Patrick's Day. That's what we're going to do. I had the lights green up the other day. I had the lights on. They were green and everything. So, whew. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. It was good going to Jersey. I had fun. Thank you so much, Ruth. Yeah, I thought it was fun. Um, I wanted to show it a little bit more in detail. Thank you, Stacy. Have a great night. Stacy Rogers, thank you so much for, for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, good night, Matt. Good night, everyone. I appreciate you guys coming. You guys are a lot of fun. And um, I'll see you guys next time on the stream. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, and you'll always catch my videos. No, thanks. No, I appreciate it. Get some sleep, everyone. Great power stream. Thanks, uh, ODA. Good seeing you. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Have a great night. I'm glad you uh, came in. Uh, and I love live streaming like that. I film stuff. And I like narrating and everything. It's kind of my style. I think it's kind of cool. And uh, bye, ODA. Bye, everyone. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Kyle, I'm out of here. Good seeing you, brother. It's yeah, I just want an hour. That's all. So go rewind. I want you to see the beginning, Kyle. If you haven't seen the video, if you guys are live, rewind back and see some of the, the parts of Yesterkades and go look on my channel, Yesterkades as well. Last year's was fun. This year's was fun. I might go again next year. Maybe I'll live stream next time. Next time I go there, it was good going to Jersey, said uh, it was good going to Jersey, said no one. Hey, when you grew up there and you lived there, uh, I love Jersey. I grew up in central Jersey, so no problem. I live in Long Island, so. I'm not far, so that's <laughs> you're bad, Stacy. That's funny. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. I'll see you guys soon.